Equivalent ratios. Two ratios are equivalent if they have the same value. To determine if two ratios are equivalent, we can use equivalent fractions. That means in this video and on this note sheet, we're going to take all of the ratios we're given and we're going to write them in fraction form. So let's look at our first problem. It says generate equivalent ratios for the following. And the first one is five cats to three dogs. That's a ratio. We need to come up with an equivalent ratio to this. Like I just said, we're going to write all of the ratios as fractions. So let's do that first. Five cats to three dogs. Now, all we have to do is come up with an equivalent fraction, which is super easy. Remember, to come up with an equivalent fraction, we simply multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the exact same number, or we divide the numerator and the denominator by the exact same number, and we will have an equivalent fraction. As I'm looking at the numbers in this ratio, five and three, there's nothing that goes evenly into both five and three, so I don't want to choose the division route. I'm going to multiply. And you can multiply by any number you want, but honestly, I think the easiest number to do is two. Okay, we can't multiply by one because that's the exact, it's going to give us the exact same ratio. We need something different but equivalent. So two is the easiest route. Um, so five times two is going to be ten. So we have ten cats. And then three times two is six. So we have six dogs. Now like I said, you don't have to choose two. You could do three, four, five. 10, 20, 30, whatever number makes the most sense to you. But the number two makes the least amount of work, and I like that, working smarter, not harder. So 10 cats over six dogs is an example of an equivalent ratio to five cats to three dogs. Let's look at this next one, two narwhals to seven unicorns. Again, we said we have to write it in fraction form, so let's do that. And then all we have to do is multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator by the same exact number. As I'm looking, I see two and seven, and there's not anything that goes evenly into both two and seven, so multiplication is going to be our best bet. Like I said in the last problem, you can choose any number you want to. Um, since I chose two for the last one, I'll just do three for this one. Is that the number you have to choose? No, you can choose any number that makes sense to you, but honestly, like I said before, why make it hard on yourself, right? So two times three is six, so we have six narwhals. And then three times seven is 21. So 21 unicorns. So six narwhals to 21 unicorns is equivalent to two narwhals for every seven unicorns. Now we have this third and final ratio, 75 pies to 100 cakes, and that sounds delicious, but we need to come up with an equivalent ratio here. And so I'm looking, it's already written in fraction form, which is fantastic, one less step for us. And as I look at the numbers in this ratio, I see 75 and 100. And I notice that they can both be divided by the same number. Can you figure out what that number is? If you said it's 25, you are correct. So to, uh, to come up with an equivalent fraction here, we could multiply, and that would work just fine, but we could also divide. So I'm going to divide here because we haven't done that yet. 25 goes evenly into both 75 and 100. 75 divided by 25 is 3, so that would be 3 pies. And then 100 divided by 25 is 4, so that would be 4 cakes. So 3 pies to 4 cakes is equivalent to 75 pies to 100 cakes. So that's cool. We, and like I said, we could have multiplied, but that might be a little more difficult. So we're going to try division on this one.